Hey everybody, are you thinking about building a coop and don't know how to get started? That was me a little bit ago until I built up the ideas to create this thing right here. So check this out, see if I can help you in any way. Hey everyone, my name's Luis. Let me talk to you about how I made this chicken coop happen from not really knowing how to build stuff. Um, I got great inspiration from Carolina Coop Company. Um, look them up. Um, I recommend it. Um, they have a great wealth of knowledge on building chicken coops. Um, Matt, the owner, uh, was a great guy. Uh, gave me this shirt. Um, so check it out, Carolina Coops. But he gave me this shirt because I reached out to him to thank him for uh, being um, inspiration for this coop. Um, and he's given me permission to mention that um, I got the inspiration from him. This is by no means a Carolina Coop, but inspired by them. So thank you, Matt, for the gift and for the inspiration. But let me walk you through what I've done um, and the ideas I got and see if I can help you. Because just like you, looking for information, that's where I was. And I reached out to different things, looked at different um, ideas, and then this is the end result. So come along with me and I'll show you. So here, let me explain this part of it. So this red part is the coop part of the whole chicken coop. So the coop and then the run on the other side. I'll show you the run in a little bit. The coop here is uh, 10 feet wide by six feet deep and eight feet from top to bottom. And then down here at the bottom, we have two feet um, of kind of an open area for um, just the chickens to come around also. But right now we have chicks because we are trying to keep them separate as we transition them when they get older and bigger, transition them to join the flock. So it kind of comes in handy and we'll show you the other side in a little bit of how we kind of put panels to separate them from this section. But again, the dimensions are here um, to kind of give you an idea of what it is. And it's 32 feet um, long um, all together with the run and the coop. So let me show you these gates. Um, Carolina Coops uses a lot of these gate latches and I love the idea. So that's what I have. Um, these latches will shut. So in the winter time, you can shut them, give, give them a little bit um, of protection with the wind. Um, then they open up and you can latch them on the sides that way they stay open for the warmer weather. But also the nice thing about it, if you have this in a shut position, you can open this up to have entry into here. I also put a barrel bolt in here so you can open it all, all the way open if you need to get in here and access it. Um, we, they, they have the roosting bars. I put three total, so 10 foot uh, wide, so 30 feet total, um, two feet spacing between them. And you can see the egg hutches from in here or the nesting boxes, I should say, um, on either side, six on either side, so 12 nesting boxes total. And in here, I'm using a deep litter system, also um, Carolina Coop idea. And then this here is like a tailgate. I don't want to open it right now because there's stuff in there. But there's barrel bolts on both, both sides that allow this to open down. That way you can come with the wheelbarrow and just clean things out um, whenever needed. I've had this for um, over a year now. And you can see um, it looks kind of dirty, but there's no smell to it because I used the industrial hemp that, that they recommend. Now, let's talk about these egg hutches. There's one on either side. Um, and again, great idea with the roofing material up top, kind of goes along, uh, keeps the same pattern. But at the same time, you can access the eggs from the side with these nice little doors. And my girls can come on in and, and then just collect the eggs every day. Um, you can see the, the, the eggs in there. There's six on either side. I use this straw material for their nesting boxes. They're a foot <laughs> apart, with the exception of the two corner ones. They're a little bit less than a foot. But anyway, one foot spacing, six total, six feet long. And again, these uh, gate latches allow you to just keep them locked. Um, windows here on either side of the coop. And then again, the latches to keep them locked on both sides. That way, um, during the summer, like now, we're in the spring, but it's getting warm. You can just keep them latched 
um, all night long if you want, all during the day and night if you want, and then that way if there's a breeze it won't shut them, and there's plenty of ventilation in there. Now let me show you the one of the front gates, or doors, not gate. Sorry, I use gate latches. So I have this as their door. Um, I originally built this to kind of, in case we didn't want to let them out, um, so I just wanted to have this as an option, but we rarely use it because um, we ended up going with hold on, with um, just kind of a, a run outside of here um, that's protected from our dogs. So we just open this up every day and I just latch it over here for them to have it open and they can come out, um, as the girls call it, uh, come out in recess. But come on in, let me show you these uh, other windows for ventilation. So here, also another great idea that Matt had. Um, I uh, really opened it up all the way over uh, with these two windows. I keep them open all through the spring and, and summer and then keep them shut during the winter. But it allows me to just uh, keep this uh, open. But then if I want to shut it, I just shut them and they slam shut. Um, and it still allows them the light in there with this uh, polyethylene type um, mater material. Um, it's kind of like a plexiglass, but um, very durable um, and I like them. Um, downfall about these being hung up like this is they decided to start jumping up here and roosting up here, then pooping all over this. And then a few times I even found an egg in there. So that wasn't a good idea. But recently I clipped their wings because they were also going into my garden, so they can't go on here right now either. So it's a good thing. So just FYI. Um, also, um, one thing I did, the opening here, the ramp for them. Um, I went with two, um, two by sixes. Originally my idea was just to do one, but I realized it was too, too um, um, skinny. I ended up going double and this works out perfect. Um, I have this as their, as their little assembly to keep them locked in. Um, a little 2 by 4 cut in a 45 degree angle to kind of keep the support. Um, and then these hooks to allow them to kind of stay put. Uh, we did have two Nigerian um, dwarf goats here when they were small and young. And they kind of lived together. And they would be rowdy and jump all over the place and knock this down. So that's kind of why I ended up doing this. Um, here's their feeder. Um, great idea I found on YouTube. Um, I, I love it. Um, they don't make that big of a mess. They can uh, stick their heads in in those uh, pipes, uh, pipe fittings, and eat as much as they want. Um, it's gravity fed, so I can keep this all the way full and it'll last a long time before they run out. So you can see from the inside now what I did with the chicks. I just recently did this because we had chicks for the first time since uh, we had chickens for the first time last year um, and this was the first spring we have two um, hens that became mommies and we have a third coming here in the next um, two weeks so it's exciting times here in our homestead right now so we have these little panels and I know I just put something temporary but yet they're they're kind of fixed um, I can unhook these and unhook the barrel the barrel bolts and just kind of um, take them all apart that way we can have all the section opened up for the chickens but it allows them the privacy right now to be together but not together so I guess together and separate so here's our first um, little bunch of chicks and now here is a bench slash roosting bar um, whatever you want to call it um, that I kind of thought about um, back when I started building the coop um, my wife was pregnant and she would like to come in here and visit with the uh, chickens and kind of spend time with them but they would um, not have a place to sit she and my daughters wouldn't have a place to sit so I thought of this setup um, let me have her explain um, what it is and how it works hi I'm Stacy the other half here um, and yes, my husband built me this bench because I got kind of tired of standing when I was about eight months pregnant. So, you see how it's kind of poopy on the outside here? Nobody wants to sit on a poopy bench. Um, so he made me a bench that actually folds down. And so this side stays clean. 
as long as you remember to put it back up. I've forgotten a couple times. So I was able to just sit here um, with my daughters and we, the chickens would just hop up on our lap and we'd be able to hold them. Um, and it kind of has a backrest. It, it is a little bit poopy, but I was still using it when I was pregnant. It was still super nice. Um, so it kind of functions as both a bench and then you fold it up and they have an awesome time perching up on there and obviously they hang out on there because there's a little bit of poop on there, but it doesn't matter because we don't sit on that part. So I thought this was a great invention that he thought up and was so thoughtful of. Okay, another thing I wanted to mention, um, here's the little watering system I kind of got an idea of from using um, Pinterest and YouTube people who think of stuff like this. Um, so I have a gravity fed system. I have a, a barrel, half barrel up here, um, and I covered it up with this uh, material to protect it from the sun. But it's gravity fed to these little uh, cups, and you can tell right there, um, Harrietta is um, enjoying that water right now. It does keep it cool, um, and I can't, I won't run out that way. There's plenty of water there, so it's kind of cool. But because it's getting warm, I do have this other water dish for them. Another thing that kind of was thought of because of the new chick, um, I guess, growth that we had this spring. Um, my dad um, kind of builds these cages, and um, you can see the one we have outside in a little bit. But um, he builds cages to separate broody hens um, and to separate chicks and stuff. And so I thought, well, instead of making one cage, why not make like a hotel or a duplex condo type thing? So this is what I thought of. One whole big section up top with a door here. And you can see uh, Laura in there with her um, six chicks that she just had um, a few weeks ago. So she's having a great time in there. Um, but down here, I decided to build three separate ones. So when they just want their privacy because they're broody, we can kind of keep them separate. And, well, Blondie is in there with her one chick, but I'll open the second one. Um, if we want to separate them, um, we can um, just shut these doors here. Um, they are able to just slide open and close. Oh. This one's kind of tight because of all the food that's in there, but you can slide it all the way open um, Allow them to go through if you wanted to or just keep them separate um, and then that way um, We can just seclude them if we just want to have the broody hand Then as they have chicks we can move them around or keep them here and have them have access to the whole thing So pretty cool system This is a swing that my dad built. It looks like it's for me except it's not it's for the chickens. They enjoy roosting up here. I had taken it down a while back, um, but I just put it back on so it's nice and new for them. It's kind of fun seeing them swing on there. And what do they do over here, Aaliyah? Um, over here? They take a bath in dirt, huh? That's weird. This is where they have a dust bath. So there's ash mixed with sand and diatomaceous earth. Um, and I just uh, filled it up um, earlier this morning, so it's nice and fresh and new. But they like to come over and have a dust bath here, but also they make their own little spots over here. But um, that's kind of crazy, huh? How they take bath and yeah. a bath and dirt. It's kind of weird. Very weird. But if you can see up top here, um, you can kind of see um, how I put together um, all the two by fours and, and everything. I did a pocket hole uh, joinery everywhere. Again. Um, Carolina Coops kind of builds them that way and I thought well what a great idea I'll do the same um, I kind of did the the rafters slightly different than they do um, just because that's the only way I could put it together but um, all together it came out very sturdy and pretty cool um, and then um, if you want to come out this way you can see the front of it I guess it's called the front but yet it's not it's like the back um, I have this gate over here and it's uh, locked in place again with another gate latch so that way we can have this um, in the morning when we come out we can just open it up allow them to just come out for recess all day long and we just have it latched with these two little solar lights and then I don't know why I felt like doing that up there just for a different look um, so here it is here's our chicken coop it's 32 feet long um, again, by 10 feet wide, 8 feet all the way up to the top, um, and then they have all this area to come and just um, have fun 
out here uh, by themselves, uh, protected by a little wire fencing all the way around. Um, and then there's another cage, and I forgot we have another one. So we have three with chicks already, or three with chicks already, and the fourth coming right there. So that's it. I um, just wanted to share that with you guys. I know a lot of my friends have been kind of wondering a little bit more, more about my coop, but I also wanted to um, just put it on here on YouTube for you guys to see. That's it. I just wanted to show you guys what I did and hopefully show you that if I could do it um, without any experience, you guys could do it too. So hopefully it uh, inspires you or motivates you or just gives you different ideas that uh, you can use the internet for all kinds of different ideas. You can look at Carolina Coops and check out um, what they do. Um, maybe buy from them or um, just have them inspire you as well.